shugu atha naitamik hey ya hey 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 ya this is how earth got its water by parker vivian and teddy a long time ago our planet didn't exist but then a star collapsed after the star exploded it left this dust all over the place now back to earth it's looking pretty dry but don't worry jupiter will do something to help you see jupiter is surrounded by icy asteroids to be more specific they're called carbonaceous chondrites poof 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 eventually J jupiter moves just a smidge but enough for its gravity to send millions of its asteroids flying into earth causing the period called the late heavy bombardment the asteroids crashed into earth making dents which would soon be our oceans soon the ice melted poof and earth became covered in water. Mickey the water molecule happily plays in the ocean with a humpback whale. As the weather gets warmer, he transforms into water vapor and evaporates into the atmosphere. Poof. A wolf found the river and got soaking wet. The wolf started to dry when the heat of the sun transformed the water into vapor, and it evaporated. Evaporation is an important part of the water cycle. When the sun shines bright, it heats up the surface of the waterfall, and the water starts to evaporate into the air. Each day the sun evaporates a trillion tons of water. When water is heated by the groovy sun, it evaporates, turning from a liquid to a vapor. Evaporation is mostly invisible, but sometimes we can see it. Water is continuously recycled from the earth to the atmosphere and back to the earth, flipping and splashing as it transforms. Woohoo! Splash! Once upon an ice field, a raindrop front flips out of a cloud and freezes into an ice cube. The heat of the sun melts the ice and the water evaporates, returning to the atmosphere. Water has many different states and can transform from a solid to a liquid to a vapor. Bye bye, little raindrop. It is a hot day and George spots a glass of cold water. All of a sudden, the glass starts to grow big enough for him to jump and cool off. He notices water droplets appearing on the glass and asks his mom what they are. She explains that when warm air hits the cold surface, water droplets form and this is called condensation. Condensation happens when water transforms from a vapor into a liquid, like when it starts raining. It rains a lot where we live in Juneau, Alaska. Transpiration happens when the heat of the sun causes a plant like a blueberry bush or a spruce tree to start sweating water vapor. It was a really sunny day at Meadowhall Glacier. Then the clouds came out and heavy rain fell around, causing chunks of giant ice to fall off the glacier. Finally, the rain stopped. It was a cloudy day. It rained and rained until the earth was saturating, giving way to a massive landslide. Hi, I'm Weedy, and I'm here to show you what weathering looks like. After a heavy rain, rocks and sediment become loose and fall down the mountain. Over time, weather patterns wear down the rocks and the surface of the earth. Hi, I'm Pickle Joe, and this is Fancy Rock. We are here to teach you about flooding. Erosion happens when natural forces like floods break down rock into sediments. This is called weathering. Brown water exists almost everywhere beneath the Earth's surface. It is a large source of fresh water that is stored under layers of rock and soil. It started to rain and it rained so much, there was a flood. The flood was so big and you could canoe downtown. When the temperature warms up at 
the Mendenhall Glacier, the ice melts and causes weathering and erosion. Plate tectonics collide onto the ocean and the energy builds up to create underwater earthquakes. The ripples of energy then turn into big crashing waves. Plate tectonics move and collide to form mountains and shake the earth. As time passes, more mountains form like the large mountain ranges in Alaska. It was a beautiful sunny day in Juneau, Alaska, and all the neighborhood friends decided to go outside for a walk. All of a sudden, the houses and trees began to shake and move from a big earthquake. Oh, quite. It was a typical day in Mendenhall River School until an earthquake happened. The volcano was having a good day when all of a sudden it began to rumble, shake, and explode with hot ash and lava. Jack and Ellie didn't realize they had just set up camp below an active volcano. They left their tent behind near escaping the hot lava. The molten lava flowed into the lake they were swimming in, turning into black magma. It was a very nice day. All of a sudden, a big volcano erupted. Volcanic eruptions happen when the Earth's crust breaks open and hot molten lava and ash explode out. Watch out for the lava! The birds were enjoying the day until they saw smoke. They tried to hide away when the volcano erupted. On a sunny morning, a lazy volcano's stomach starts to rumble loudly. He feels smoke coming from his head and his cone pops off and tumbles as he starts to erupt with hot lava. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, please, you go, at, can, I,